In a previous video, I talked about running File Station to earn Filecoin on Windows PCs. And today, after a few requests, I decided to create a video on how to run it in HiveOS using Docker. Now, this strategy will work with any system that you're running Docker on. But today, we're going to be using HiveOS as an example. So I've got a HiveOS rig that I'm already SSH'd into. And the first thing we need to do is we need to install Docker. So to do that, we can just do a apt install docker.io. And then we're going to go ahead and let that install. It may prompt you uh, to press Y to confirm the storage it's going to use. Okay, once that's installed, then the next thing we want to do is we want to install the file station uh, container. And we also want to install Watchtower so that it keeps the file station container up to date whenever there is a new image that gets posted. And they're constantly adding new modules to file station and making tweaks. So this will make sure that you don't have to go in and manually update. Now the first thing we need to do in order to run it in Docker, you can't use an F1 address. So you need a 0x address which will be like the FEVM addresses. So I already have one. I've generated one off of my one key touch, which is my preferred hardware wallet. And so once you do that, that will give you an address that is prefixed with zero X. You can also use MetaMask to generate that for Filecoin if you want. Now when you're running in Docker, you, you can run a bunch of instances if you want but each one needs to have a different wallet address. You cannot use the same wallet address on multiple instances, or it'll just split the rewards between the instances, and it'll be the equivalent of you just running one instance. So what we wanna do is, I'm actually gonna copy and paste this. Um, I've already got the command prepped, but essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a Docker run and I'm going to rename this. We're going to name it File Station. And we're going to run it detached. We're going to tell it to always restart. So if it ever crashes, it'll restart itself. And then here is our wallet address that we created. So you want to do dash dash env file wallet address equals. Put your wallet address there. And the Docker image path is uh, ghcr.io. This is hosted on GitHub slash filecoin hyphen station slash core. So once you do that, hit enter. That's going to start running the container. Now, before we dig into what that container is doing, we want to set up Watchtower. Now, what Watchtower does is it monitors your containers. And anytime there's a new image posted, it'll basically download the updated image and regenerate the container with the same arguments that we had supplied so that you always have a uh, good one running. <clears throat> so we're gonna paste this in and similar, we're gonna run it detached. We're going to call it Watchtower and we do have to map the volume um, to docker.soc. Uh, we also wanna do restart always in here so that once again, the container always restarts if it ever crashes. And now Watchtower is running. Now we can do a Docker PS and validate that both of our containers are running, which they both are. So we've got File Station running and we also have got Watchtower running. Now to check the logs for our File Station container, all we need to do is do Docker logs File Station. And if you've just started this up, here we can see it's completed one job already. You should see a line down here towards the bottom that shows you how many jobs it's completed and what your, basically your pending rewards are for that wallet address. And as it continues to run, this file is gonna get bigger and bigger. So if you just wanna get the last few lines of it, you can do docker logs file station uh, dash n and do like 50. That'll only output the last 50 lines. And there you can see we've got two completed jobs now. Uh, it should do about a job a minute. 
or so. Now, once that log really starts to fill out, and you, if you don't want to see everything mixed in here, uh, a lot of these are errors, like if it can't connect to the IPFS path, things like that, uh, we can filter those out. So to do that, what I like to do is run this command. And what this will do is this will grab the Docker logs and it will filter down to just the jobs completed and the pending rewards. So if we run this, we'll now see here uh, what our pending rewards are. And after about 100 jobs or so, you should start to see this number increment. So we'll let this run for a few minutes and we'll come back and we'll recheck it and make sure that that is incrementing. It's been about an hour or so and we can see that our rewards have increased. We went from 0 0.0059 when we started all the way up. We're now at 0 0.006 Filecoin earned. So we're accumulating rewards Everything seems like it's working, and this will just continue to run in the background. Uh, since this is on a Hive OS rig, we can continue to GPU mine. This will do its file checks in the background and continue to earn Filecoin. And once we hit that payout threshold, once a month, we will get a payout to the Filecoin wallet address that we configured when we launched the Docker container. And because we're running Watchtower, anytime there's an update, it will automatically apply it for us.